Have you made your decision concerning our dilemma? I think you know what my decision is. A decision like this isn't yours to make. It's for the betterment of an age. Then how do you justify the thousands of people who will be afflicted by a decision that you made? The decision I make is for the greater good of mankind. Would you rather have thousands of people suffer because of the decision I made? Or millions for the lack of it? It is indeed better for thousands of people to suffer rather than millions. Then you agree that my decision is the right one? No. It is not necessary for anyone to suffer. What would you do then? I don't know. Until you find a suitable alternative, I will proceed with my plan. Wait! Give me three days to find an alternative. Three days? In that time, anything could happen. The whole world could come to an end, and these millions of people would die without the benefit of my brilliant discovery. But if the world ended before then, the thousands of people will be tortured because of it. Those that cannot receive the benefit of your brilliant discovery will be allowed to die in peace. Then we are back to the same argument. Is it better for thousands of people to be tortured or millions? I say again, it is better that the thousands suffer. Then you agree that this is the right decision and there is nothing you can do to change that. I will now present my recipe for chocolate cake to the entire world. This will bring happiness to millions, even billions of people. The mere thousands who are allergic to chocolate, like you, will be forced to suffer with envy. Go ahead, try and stop me. Two pieces of cake, one for me and one for me. Your fork is my fork. Oh wait, I'll just take your fork and use both forks. Look at me. Now look at the cake. Look back at me. Now the cake. Look at me. Look at the cake. And look at me having the cake that you can't have.